It is most likely that Amenhotep VI is King Tut's father and that Queen Kia was his mother. Amenhotep VI is also known as Amenhotep. Although Amenhotep had many wives, Queen Kia was one of his concubines. Queen Kia was Amenhotep's beloved wife. If Amenhotep was indeed King Tut's father, then Tut would have had two siblings, Smenkair and Atkinson Patin. Atkinson Patin was probably King Tut's half-sister because her mother is most likely Queen Nefertiti. King Tutankhamun married Atkinson Patin. Atkinson Patin changed her name to Atkinson Amun when King Tutankhamun changed his name during the second year of his reign. King Tut and his spouse lived in his father's north palace in Amarna in their early years of marriage. They had two female children, but both were born premature and died early. Both children were mummified and put into the King Tut's tomb. On November 4, 1922, the king of King Tutankhamun was discovered by Howard Carter. Howard Carter began his search when he heard about King Tutankhamun from some stone walls. He started to look in the Valley of the Kings to look for King Tut's tomb. Lord Carnarvon owned the right to excavate the area. After five years, Carnarvon lost hope in finding King Tut's tomb, but Howard Carter didn't. He offered to pay the workers in order for him to still be able to search the area. Lord Carnarvon agreed to this, and within four days, King Tutankhamun's tomb was found. Thousands of artifacts were found inside his tomb. Hundreds of thousands of ancient artifacts were found in King Tut's tomb. Since King Tut died at a very young age, there was no time to build an extravagant tomb. Tutankhamun's tomb size was built more for an official, but to compensate, there were many artifacts put into his tomb. 